Get ready for the smackdown. Get ready for the smackdown. How you gonna react when you're put in the back Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown. Okay, guys, so I hope that first fight for Section 9 got you guys like, okay, this is good. And to kick off the next fight, this comes from SRJ, my friend, Sick Rick Joseph, and he pits the main man himself, Lobo, versus Thor, the mighty Thor himself. Yeah. Uh, saw this fight he gave me, and... I was like, oh yeah, another good powerhouse fight going at it. So to kick it off. To be or not to be? That's the question in a way for Lobo. This is the guy known as the main man himself that heaven or hell and hell don't want this guy. Okay, they don't want him. So what did they do? They put him in the lapse of us in a way to deal with he's probably known as probably one of the he's one of those great anti-heroes that you have to love and respect he came around the time when the 90s of course when it was really it was cool you know uh it was really cool to loved all that and guys that didn't really take orders from anybody that would rather slap you in the face than to know you uh, Lobo is the last of the Zarnians, Garzarnians, as uh, he's known as, and he first came out in the Omega Man Men number issue number three. Now his strength is unbearable. This guy is can take it to likes again, once again, Superman, and can smack Superman across the face and and live to tell about it. You know, um, he. He is a major, major player in a way, and hopefully he'll be back soon. From what I hear, he's supposed to be back soon in the new 52 uh, in Deathstroke's book. But uh, I hope they don't change him too much. But keep that traditional pale white skin with the <laughs> domino kind of like mask and the red eyes that makes him who he is. So the next up, we move on to the Marvel Universe once again. And uh, everybody should know who this guy is. The one, the only, Thor Odin's son. Son of Odin. God of Thunder himself. Thor is probably one of the major, major powerhouses in the Marvel Universe. Uh, wielding the powerful hammer known as Yonmir. Respective, respected, and core member of the Avengers he's a founding member Thor is one of those one of the probably one of the most proud proudest and most uh, proudest and most knowledgeable Asgardian there is basically he is well known all the fellow Asgardians respect his prowess, respect his skills. The guy has seasoned skills to back up all his, his super strength, his speed, his agility, his endurability. Everything about this man is pretty much in terms well respected about him. There's not too many people, fellow Asgardians in there that shun him of his prowess as he is pretty much the prince as well kind of the leader of the Asgardians. I did enjoy him when he was the leader of the Asgardians and not Odin. I thought it was really good to have Odin gone and Thor leading the, the Asgardians. Uh, he is back now, thank God. Okay, and um, this guy is no easy adversary to defeat. Uh, can, this guy can call upon Thunder and Lightning himself and Trust me, you don't want to have any contact with this guy 
at full strength. This guy will seriously do some harm to you. And I pray to anybody that comes to Midgar to cause trouble. So we kick it off with a fight between these two guys. This is a battle, guys, that I would be definitely, definitely, this would be, excuse me, a very interesting battle. Both guys are like, are pretty much godly in a way, basically. Uh, both men are super strong. Both men have knowledge and skills to back up their claims. And this battle can go on forever. This battle can go on for a long, long time. I can see Lobo really getting off on this battle. You know, like, you know. In a way, I can even see Lobo saying these words to Thor. To be the man, you have to beat the man. And I'm the main man. Um, I can, you know, I can see Thor saying, you, you have great power. And I implore you, mortal, to stand down. Like I could, I this battle would be really. Good. I'm, I'm, I would Jones for a battle like this. This would be an incredible battle. But it all comes down to skill and who's gonna make the first mistake, and who will get the upper hand. If that person has the upper hand, will he capitalize on that upper hand? There are so many things to throw into this fight, and I can't really see a clear victor as well in this fight. But I leave it up to you, Lobo, the main man himself, Lobo. Or Thor, God of Thunder, Son of Odin. And other than that, guys, I like you guys to show some love and respect to Sick Rick Joseph. This was his creation for Section Nine. And as always, thanks SRJ. And once again, you guys know the slogan: Battle on. <laughs>